before this video begins, make sure to check our store at gfxcomment.com. We have free templates, free graphics packs, as well as user interface and much more you can check out at our store. Thank you for all the support. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. YouTube, welcome back to a brand new tutorial. And uh, today I want to show you guys how to make these kind of 3D-ish buns right here. Um, I think these buns look really smooth, as you can see. And uh, I just think they look really nice. They are cartoony and colorful. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to make this. Uh, let's start off with a new layer. So right here. And for the background, here is what we're going to do. We are going to first let's fill the background with the color black so i'm gonna switch the colors i'm gonna hit all backspace and the reason is because we could right click this layer let's go into blending options and from here we could just go for gradient overlay make sure the angle is at 90 and uh reverse is not checked uh we're just gonna click on the box we're gonna double click on the first ticker here to open this up this will be the bottom color so i'm gonna click on that i'm gonna hit ok double click on the second one Click on the top and we have a nice gradient going here. You can adjust the scale if you want. Uh, you can see this is kind of, well, adjust the scale. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go for like 75. I'm just gonna hit okay. All right, now let's move on to the actual buttons. Uh, we're gonna hit new layer. I'm gonna click and hold here. I'm going to go for my rounded rectangle tool right here. And for the radius, I think I'm gonna go for 20, maybe 25. Just maybe. All right, we're just gonna drag out our shape like this for the button. As you can see, there it is. I think this is uh, pretty fair. Next, I'm gonna double click right here and I'm just going to select on this purple color, as you can see. So now to make this uh, smooth effect here. So I'm just gonna copy this layer. I'm gonna hit Control J on my keyboard. This will make a copy. I'm gonna click on the bottom layer. I'm just going to move this down. All right as you can see and now i am going to and now you can see here it is basically like it's a gradient right so so when right click let's go for blending options there's actually a couple ways we could achieve this effect this is the first option uh we could go for a gradient overlay like this so we'll click here and click on the bottom gradients so we'll click here and then we can click on the top one as you can see and we have to hit Control t on this layer and drag this down let's go right click hit rasterize layer style all right so now let's make a new layer right in between um these two on top of this one let's right click create clipping mask right here we're gonna take our brush tool so hit b on your keyboard or click on this tool make your color white my hardness is down to zero. Opacity is around, let's try 54. And flow is kind of low at 30 or so. And as you can see, there is this bright area right here on this, this part, which kind of blends everything together. So we're just going to paint right here, as you can see. As you can see. And now we could go for a filter blur. Gaussian blur just to even everything out kind of soften everything let's change the mode to let's try our overlay um actually I'm gonna try actually I'm gonna try this for a second if we go for a kind of like a more pinkish color here I think this could be nice like this right here let's go across and let's do the same thing this time let's use the color black let's use the color black and we're just gonna go for these sides like this let's lower the opacity and now to finish everything off there is this uh blue layer so i'm gonna copy this top part Control j move it to the bottom let's drag it down double click here and let's just click on this color okay all right, as you can see, we got this. We can lower the opacity to 90. We can copy this once again for the extra right here. Let's lower the opacity as well. It's like 15. And I'm gonna use my eraser tool. 
hit OK on rasterizing and you just wanna erase out the middle a little bit like that. Okay, so you can see they have this kind of glow in the back, which looks really cool. So how do we achieve that? Um, it's quite simple. First, let's take everything, hold shift, click the top. So every layer is selected. I'm gonna hit control G, my keyboard, to make a group. Control J to copy this group right here. I'm gonna right click, convert to smart object. I'm gonna hide the previous group and I'm just gonna copy this once again. So control J, I'm gonna take the bottom layer. I'm gonna go filter, blur, I'm gonna go Gaussian blur. And now I'm just gonna blow this out like that. I'm going to lower the opacity, all right. I'm going to make a new layer, use my brush tool, hold alt, click on this pink that you see, and we're just gonna brush right here. All right, increase the size, and you're just gonna brush right here. Just like that. And you can see this cool effect starting to form. Obviously, we're gonna add some text. So let's go type tool. Actually, I'm just gonna put play right here. As you can see, I'm gonna center the text. Oops. And we're just gonna add a nice stroke right here. The color is a nice darkish purple. And let's add a drop shadow, as you can see. Like that. Alright, so I'm gonna take everything, group it all up. Once again, copy it again, make a smart object, and we could also copy for color variations. Uh, just hit control U on your keyboard, you can change the color very easily. That is pretty much going to be it for this video. Um, if you make a new layer and clip it into the smart object here, use your brush tool with the color black and just kind of paint like that over it. And I'm just gonna make this into soft light or overlay. I think this is also pretty cool. Just kinda like that. I don't know. I like it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to stay tuned for more tutorials and uh, tons of other videos in the future. Make sure to check out our store and join our Discord. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you.